my God. I was just about to dance. Hey, baby, what's happening? What's up, Chi-Town in the house? Oh, my God. I was just about to dance, but I didn't want to fall out, you know? I didn't know who was going to pick me up, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, black people don't help you. I don't, I don't know them that good. White people are always, are you okay? If I fall right now, who gonna pick me up? Nobody. Y'all be sitting across the street. That fat dude fell over there, for real. I am so silly, I'm telling you. You know what, though? No, I'm tired of old people. I'm tired of old people saying what they want to say to us and hurting our feelings and walking off. Old people say anything like they ain't said nothing and just walk off. You know, you taught as a child when an old person say something to you, you don't talk back. But now I am an adult. I let their ass have it. You know? I'm in church Sunday. I spoke to this old lady. I said, hey, ma'am, how you doing? She said, hey, baby, how big you gonna get? I said, bitch, how old you gonna get? She got mad. You fat motherfucker, you old bitch. We in church now. Then she gonna take me home, old fat ass boy. And people to get mad with us, quit calling us fat motherfuckers. Because we already know that. Y'all be saying it like y'all giving us a pop quiz question. We don't give a fuck. Lady called me that other day, you fat motherfucker. I was like, I didn't care. You want to make me mad, you tell me Popeye chicken going out of business. Boy, I set this theater on fire. And Christmas cream donut will make you wreck your car. Am I lying? You'll be riding down the street in that hot light. Come on. You'll be walking and give me six of them glaze. Six glaze, six glaze. The lady say something like this. You can get six more for a dollar. You'll be like, you bullshit. Don't put them in there. Put them in there. Nigga, I can eat a dozen. My teeth won't even touch them. You think I'm bullshit? You know? I was in hell in the motherfucker. Ah! Ah! My little girl was looking at me. Daddy, you supposed to eat them? I said, no, you don't. You supposed to inhale these motherfuckers. Have you ever had one hot? You know what I'm talking about? Oh my God, I'm having a flashback right now. Christmas cream. Oh man. You know you're being when you go to a restaurant and you sit at the buffet. The manager say, you can't sit here. You be like, I don't see no sign. You got to have a sign for a nigga to sit there. Am I lying? I got a cousin so big, he be dancing when we at the buffet. You know how big nigga, mm, 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 He be having a mother. My cousin big, you ever see a nigga so big, he, he keep food in his mouth? You know, just like a cow. You know, a cow hold food in his mouth. We was in the car driving home, he just started chewing. <laughs> and nigga, what you got? Nigga? Some of that baked chicken. <laughs> it's still in your mouth. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I got some goddamn cornbread on this side. <laughs> now, you know you fat when another fat person look at you go, God damn. <laughs> what did you eat? <laughs> Shit. You know you're fat when you look in the mirror, have to look at your dick, you know what I'm saying? You be in the mirror talking, is that my dick? <laughs> that that play up hole, nigga. <laughs> Women, y'all got a power and you ain't not use it. What's up, baby? <laughs> Don't let the big wake fool you, ain't good. Get you one time, you be stalking me like a motherfucker. Be all up in a tree at the hotel. There he is, girl, there he is. But they always bring a girlfriend. Come on, girl, come on up the tree. She be fat. I can't climb that tree. Give me a ladder. Don't let the big wake fool you. Break your back in three different places. By the kitchen, by the bathroom, by the garage door. I'll make a chili out of it. Mm. Mm. Bruce, 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 Bruce. What's up? You know what, though? The big women always be approaching me. Why do they do that? Like, we gonna make something happen. You know what I'm saying? 
Big women always approach me. We can't do nothing but shit. Look at a workout tape. <laughs> and women, y'all got to start going back to the old school thing to turning your man on. You need to do certain things. See, certain things you can say to a man to turn him on. Y'all don't realize you can say stuff make his dick tingle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she be on the phone. When I get home, I'm going to suck that. Like, girl, come on now, quit it. Quit it now. You're making it tingle. You're making it tingle, goddamn. You're making it tingle. You can play with it when you get there. Come here, girl, go. He got like he don't want you to grab it. He be really doing like this. Go on now. It's a difference between black and white pornos. People say they're not, but it's a difference between black and white. White pornos have a concept. You know how they met and everything. White people got this thing, well, all right. You know what I'm saying? They're like, let's have a party. Well, all right. Black people don't do that. You be like, let's have a party. You be like, who gonna buy the shit? <laughs> Last time, I got, I had to buy everything. But black and white porno, it's a different. When white pornos come on, they, they meet, lady come on, hey, Carol, hey, Chuck, what's going on? Brad told me you was over here. Well, all right. <laughs> then the music come on. Ding, 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 ding. Round. Ding, 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 ding. Round. Black pornos are not like that. Am I bullshit? As soon as you put the tape in, mess play, click, a 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 click. Nigga looking all in the camera. You go back to the white bottle, ding, 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 round. You know it's a difference between black and white people. People say they're not, but it is. If, if you go in an all black club tonight and a white person walk in, black people ain't gonna say nothing because we don't care. As long as you're not calling problem, we don't give a fuck. A white, you could be in an all club night jamming. They be like, hey man, a white dude, they walk in, be like, shit, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but let the table turn. Let it be a brother walking in a redneck bar. The music will stop. As soon as he hit the door, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> God damn it, who let you in here? Somebody killed the doorman because that son of a bitch is slipping. White people are different. White people rock up on a brother dog and don't even know it. You know that? You can have a rock wall of 200 pounds. Like, this your puppy? <laughs> Hand all in the mouth. Oh, niggas don't do that. We see a dog, we don't know. We cross the street. Nigga, I don't know that dog. White people are different. White people fire you from a job and still be smiling. This lady told me, I'm sorry, I gotta let you go. <laughs> if you need a good reference, tell them to give you a call. Reference? I'm thinking about blowing this motherfucker up. <laughs> you know, that brings me to women. Women are smooth. Women are thinking while you sleep at night. You know that? Fellas, women do fool around. But the reason they're gonna get caught, because women plan shit. And when a woman fucks another man, he lives across town, out of town. <laughs> Fellas, we fuck with next door neighbor coworkers. <laughs> wondering how she found out. <laughs> women, if you ever catch a woman, you better believe somebody told on her. Because women think while you sleep at night. Because one thing about women, women have a plan. Then they have a backup plan. Then they have a backup plan to back up the backup plan. Women's shit is in order. Women are thinking while you sleep at night. That's why you can wake up at 3 in the morning, look at your girl, she looking right at your ass. You be like, damn, you ain't sleep. She be like, hell no, I'm thinking about something. That's why I got to have a woman down with me, and I mean down with me thoroughly. That means if I go somewhere and get into a fight, and she with me, that means we get into a fight. I don't need you hollering and screaming until I stop the fight. I need you jabbing that nigga ass. Because if I get my ass whooped when we get home, you get your ass whooped. That's just how I go. And one thing about women, they will help you to the car and nurse you back to hell, but in the back of her mind, you got your ass whooped. And it might not come up to six months to a year later, but it's going to come up because women don't forget shit. You and her get arguing at home, you're like, girl, I will whoop your ass and she'll stop everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gonna whoop my ass, but you couldn't beat that dude ass at the club? 
you be like, girl, shut up. I had on my dress shoe. <laughs> it's like when you make love to your woman and you come fast. She ain't gonna say nothing that night, but that morning, women know how to fuck with you. She get right up, good morning, minute man. You be getting mad, go with that bullshit. <laughs> hey kids, breakfast will be ready in just a minute. I told you to cut that shit out now. Hey kids, the school bus will be here in about one minute. Go ask your dad, he knows about that. Now, let me get something straight. My name is Bruce Bruce. Not Big Bruce, not Big Boy, not Big Man, not Brucey Brucey, not Big Swole. <laughs> you call me anything other than that, I'm gonna call it back like I see you. You understand what I'm saying? So you better get ready. You feel what I'm talking about? I'm in Miami about three weeks ago, I saw O.J. Simpson. He jumped out of the truck. What's happening, Fat Bruce? I said, shit, it ain't nothing killer. This motherfucker get mad. My name ain't Killer. My name ain't Fat Bruce. Big head motherfucker. Is it me? He got a head like a zoo on Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Hello, dum dum. How you dingling? I thought he was driving the truck with a helmet on. You think I'm moving? <laughs> now, let me get something straight with you guys. I'm not like the average comedian. Average comedian have an ending joke, they tell jokes, they get through with the joke. When they leave, they be like, peace, somebody here. I don't do that. Because I don't tell jokes. I tell real life stories and make it funny. So when I get through performing on stage, I don't have an ending joke, be like, peace. When I get through, I just walk the fuck off stage. 